Hi all, I'm Pushpalata KR. I'm part of HP. I work for Webprint platform. So today I'll be talking about priority statistical data analysis for product stability and capability. So with so much of data coming into the system and in the environment, it is it becomes a very uh, challenging task to predict the stability and the capability of the system. So as a product capability can be understood with the used data, it becomes very difficult to improve and sustain the uh, the platform reliability as well as the scalability and even the availability. So data driven problem solving is an iterative process uh, from practical arena to the statistical arena and then returning to the practical arena with a conclusion. So with so much of uh, data, it becomes uh, difficult to interpret, like uh, 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 to understand the capability and the stability. So what we have to do is we need to plot the graph, uh, and the and I mean one such graph is the histogram, and this uh, this graph we can actually plot it uh, using a many type statistical software. So with histogram, when a sample of variable data is collected, uh, we can uh, actually uh, find the uh, centering and the uh, dispersion. And uh, this is done uh, to measure the product, uh, the stability and the variability. And uh, there's one more thing where we can do is, uh, what we can do is the, uh, by plotting the trend chart. Trend chart will actually give you the actual uh, uh, customer satisfaction rate. So with the, in, with the trend chart, we, we can actually find, uh, we can actually plot, define the goal. And uh, whether we are meeting that goal and all, we can actually find it through the trend chart on the uh, a scale can be like a weekly basis or on the monthly basis. So based on that, we can actually see whether uh, we're able to satisfy the customers. So to, for that, we need to measure the center. Like I said in the previous uh, slide, uh, uh, in the histogram, we can, we can actually find the center as well as the distribution, the spread of the uh, process so to measure the center we should assume the distribution should be a normal distribution and uh, this is one of the uh, important thing to consider while measuring the center and the uh, uh, normal distribution is approximated by the central limit theorem where uh, as, where we consider like as the sample size increases even the uh, mean um, mean value tend towards the normal irrespective of the original distribution and to actually measure the spread of the distribution, we need to have the, uh, sorry again, uh, to measure the center, it's uh, done by the mean, uh, mean, median, and the mode. The mean is the uh, sum of uh, all observations uh, by the uh, total number of observations. And uh, uh, like uh, the, to measure the spread, uh, it should be done through the variance, uh, the range, and the standard deviation. Range is the difference between the uh, maximum and the minimum value, and uh, variance is the average square difference between the mean and the individual observations, and standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. So through these values, we can actually measure the center and the uh, spread of the distribution. So coming to the analysis, the variation analysis, this is done through the statistical uh, process control charts. So statistic, statistical process control charts provide the better leverage to reduce the radi variability. So control limits help us uh, distinguish between the signals uh, like I showed in the, um, like you're seeing in the uh, graph, you can see that uh, there are signals and uh, uh, there are certain signals which has crossed the uh, uh, control limits. So control limits are uh, will actually help us distinguish between the special cause variation, which is the signal from the noise. And the uh, stati statistical uh, process control charts are actually the most recommended charts when compared to the trend charts or any other uh, run charts, because this will actually evaluate the stability of the variation and the mean based on the data ga gathering and the analysis strategy. So by presenting the data in the statistical based context, we're able to make better decisions with respect to the managing the process implement. One of the main significant thing is we are actually avoiding the over control, which actually increases the process variation. So the 
control limits are actually based on the actual data which are influenced by the sampling which is again called the subgrouping the sampling uh, strategy defines the interpretation of this control control chart so uh, uh, looking at uh, look, uh, looking at the sampling so we can actually say that uh, uh, as per the normal distribution 99.7% uh, of the normally distributed population is captured by the curve and uh, the remaining 0.3% of the uh, 0.3 percent chance of finding a value beyond uh, the three standard deviation there's only 0.3 percent uh, chance of finding a value beyond the three standard deviation therefore um, I, uh, anything which is beyond three standard deviations we consider that the the process have has either shifted or it has become unstable so comparing the plot points uh, to the control limits allows a uh, uh, one for us to analyze the probability assessment and uh, uh, anything above the uh, uh, like a, uh, like you can see in the graph there is something like upper control limit and the lower control limit so any 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 data point which crosses the control limits that shows like uh, the the process has become uh, unstable or it has uh, the process has shifted its uh, regular phase so this is where we have to actually focus and uh, here uh, once we understand uh, the control limits and the data point analysis like i showed in the previous uh, slide we what we have to do is we need to evaluate the product uh, stability so that again we can do it uh, uh, by plotting uh, these control limits and then see whether uh, we can apply certain rules like we need to plot the data in such a way that uh, we can have at least a minimum of uh, 20 intervals of the data points and then with the with those data points uh, have these control limits defined and I, uh, like i said uh, uh, this uh, upper control limit and lower, lower control limit can be uh, calculated uh, from the uh, mini uh, mini tab statistical software uh, for the pro for the process control charts for the defined uh, variable data or the uh, other continuous data so with with the control limits uh, defined uh, uh, we can actually see whether uh, uh, for the given set of data the data point has crossed the upper control limit or the lower control limit if anything crosses the uh, control limits that shows the, uh, the system has become unstable so the main focus here is like uh, to uh, look into the control limits and that again is done uh, through the standard deviation anything which crosses beyond the three standard deviation that we consider uh, as a unstable uh, product and uh, coming to the eva evaluating uh, capability so to evaluate the capability what we have to do is uh, we need to understand the the cp and the pp indices like i'm showing in the graph the cp and the pp indices are actually uh, de defined the uh, the tolerance and the six sigma process uh, 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 process these are the indices for the six sigma process and the tolerance so if uh, uh, if the six sigma process spread is uh, greater than the tolerance like uh, in the first part of the uh, the second uh, uh, graph where we can see that uh, the six sigma process is greater than the tolerance that means the index is index of uh, cp is uh, less than one and if the uh, if the six sigma process is equal to the tolerance uh, in as uh, the as shown in the graph the second one uh, the cp value the index will become one and that should that means though there is will there will be a 0.3 percent of output being there is a chance of 0.3 percent of output being defective and if the six sigma process spread is uh, inside the tolerance like the third part with room to spare that means the process is capable of producing few defects so with this with this graph and having these indices which is cp and uh, uh, cpk 
we can actually define uh, the tolerance uh, width as well as the six sigma width and with that we can come with the lower scale limit lower specification limit and upper scale upper specification limit and uh, based on that we can actually see whether where the process of the product is going whether the product is actually being capable enough to take this uh, to take the data or uh, we need to uh, we need to we need to scale further to make it more capable so uh, this is what it is and uh, i'm done with the uh, uh, solution and thank you for uh, this uh, presentation